Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss a very popular concept related to SQL. And this is very important with respect to any data engineering role or data analyst role related interview process also. And that is basically correlated subquery. Okay, let's not focus in the terminology more. Let's try to understand the concept and eventually we will understand why this term correlated subquery is there. Okay. So here I am running some simple queries in Snowflake and I am creating the table which I am going to use for explanation purpose and all the codes I'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section so that you can also parallelly practice. Okay. So first what I am doing after dropping the Ramu database if it exists I am creating that phrase database and I am using that particular database and then here I am creating a employee table which is containing dummy data related to employee which is having employee ID as primary key you can consider. Although in Snowflake there is no concept of primary key but just for the time being let's understand employee ID is primary key. Then department ID and then employee salary. Okay, this is the table, right? Now here what we are doing, we are inserting some data. Some employees who are working in marketing department, who are working in IT department, some are in HR department, some are in sales department like that. Okay, so now if we do select start from test employees, we will be getting this kind of data. Right now, what we will do? Let's see a simple subquery how it works. Okay, maybe this is one example. See, let's start from test employee where employee salary in select employee salary from test employees where employee salary greater than 50,000. Okay, so first we are taking those values, those employee salaries which are having value greater than 15,000, and that we are applying in the in plus. Okay, so this is basically inner query. Now this inner query is not related to our outer query. That is first the inner query will be executed and then the result of that inner query it will be taken in the in plus for applying multiple or condition and then it will execute the outer query based on that right. It is not like outer query and inner query are dependent and parallel execution happening something like that concept is not there right. So if I just simply run that. Here, greater than 15,000 salary is only available for one employee if in HR department and one employee in sales department of 16,000 and 17,000. So, this is called a simple subquery, right? Nothing new. Now, suppose you were asked to give basically that employee which who is having fifth highest salary in a whole company or sixth highest salary. So, in solving those kind of problems, directly we jump into our 10th rank concept, right? which is a very popular simple window concept. Already I have explained about this one in detail. If you want to know that explanation, you can go through the link written in the description box, okay? So what we are doing, basically we are applying 10th rank over the employee salary column. First we have done order by, and then we apply 10th rank. So that is basically giving us the global order, and that we can run. So it will be giving us the rank, right? So this is the highest salary, so rank is one. This is the second highest salary, rank is two. This is the third highest salary, rank is 3 like that okay so now suppose instead of applying this kind of tense rank concept or window concept suppose we want to do this using subquery so how we can do that let us try to understand okay and i will go very slowly step by step because this is a very important concept okay so first let's just execute the table so this is our table maybe i will execute select start from table here i will do order by EMP salary okay so here we are getting the order Maybe I can put this in this so this employee is having highest salary this is second highest like that it is going okay now suppose I want to get the order in overall company maybe for this particular first record let's consider okay how will you frame the query Select star from the table name is basically this employees. I'll be taking that where employee salary greater than 17,000. Right? And instead of star, I will be doing count star. Okay? So, what I'm trying to say very carefully try to understand okay so i am basically checking number of employees who are having salary greater than 
this particular way. Okay, so let's execute that. So if I execute that, I'll be getting zero. Basically, no employee is having salary greater than seventeen thousand. Okay, that is seventeen thousand is the high salary. That's why we are getting zero. So this can be ranked of that particular employee, right? Maybe we can do count of star plus one to make it start from index one instead of index zero. So if we run that, we are getting the rank as one. Okay. Maybe let's check the second highest salary in the whole company. It is sixteen thousand, right? So if I just run this one and if I just paste that here, so what we will be getting? We are basically trying to find out number of employees. Okay. In our employee table, who are having salary greater than sixteen thousand, okay. So if I run that, we are getting two, okay. Two why? Because this is second high salary. Before this employee, one employee is there who is having salary seventeen thousand. So basically, these employees rank based on salary in overall company is two, okay. Like that, you can simply understand. Now, like that way, we have to get rank for all the individual employees. Currently, we are hard coding the value here, right? That instead of that we have to put dynamic. So how we can do that? So the code will look like this. Select and here I will be taking the column names basically employee ID, employee salary, and then I will be deriving one column. I will show you how to derive that. For the time being, suppose let us consider the derived column name is rank value from history. Okay. So this is the structure of our table. Employee ID we are taking, employee salary we are taking. Maybe if you want, you are you can take n number of columns, department ID and all. Not a problem. But the thing is, rank value is not yet calculated. Okay. So what we will do? We will calculate that here inside a select query and we will give the alias name as rank value. And this is the query which is basically calculating the rank for that employee based on salary in overall company, right? So that one we will be putting that here. Just follow these steps how I am doing. Okay. And now here the problem is it is hard coded. Value. Basically, we want to get the rank for that particular employee in the current row, right? So current row's employee salary should be coming here. That way, this particular inner query will return the rank for that particular row. Okay. So this employee salary we want to put that here. Okay. How we'll do that? Let me explain. Currently, it is hard coded. So instead of that, here maybe I will be giving the Outer table name as A and inner table name as B to avoid the confusion. Okay, and here, if we want to take this particular column, it is belonging to table A, right? So instead of sixteen thousand hard coded value, I can put A dot employee salary. Okay, so what we are doing here, we are basically taking the count from the test employee table where the employee salary column is greater than this particular row's employee salary. Okay, now here this employee salary is from which table? This is from this table, right? So we can put B dot. Basically, in this particular table, you can consider B table in the employee salary column. I am putting a filter condition that is give me count of those employees who are having salary greater than the salary of the row in which currently I am in the iteration. Okay, and that we are referring as A dot employee. Salary. So now, if we do that, and maybe we can do order by rank, okay, rank value, whatever we have given. If we just run based on that, here see the beauty: the highest employee salary has got the rank one, the second has got the rank two, like that is perfectly coming. Instead of tens rank, we can follow this approach also. So here, why it is called correlated subquery? Now we can understand. Okay, so you see the inner query. To get the result, it is referring one or more column of our outer query. Okay, outer query is having table A, and inner query is referring that particular outer table's column. Okay, that's why it is called correlated subquery. Simple. Okay, remember couple of things like correlated subquery should return only a scalar value, that is one row, one column value. If you are returning multiple values, like maybe while applying flatten, you can return. Multiple values from the inner query to the outer query. That time you have to apply cross join concept. Okay, uh, so lateral flatten concept. Uh, when I have explained that time, I have covered that topic. You can check the description link for details. So there are certain steps to simplify the correlated subquery. The step one is basically first you frame the inner query as hard coded value. Okay, then you basically frame the overall query 
what you want to execute. Then inner query where, where hard coded value is there that you substitute in the derived column. Okay. Once you substitute that, you have to remove all the hard coded value and replace with the proper value so that it will be taking dynamically the value from the current row. That's the steps. Okay. I hope you understood this. I am going to cover some more concepts related to correlated software in my upcoming sessions also. This is very important from data engineering or data analysis interview point of view. This is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel for so subscribe till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.